Hello everyone and welcome to our mini homestead. Today I'm in the uh, rabbitry area and uh, planning on changing our watering system. Uh, we do use uh, water bowls, uh, fill them every morning and uh, be most likely enough for the whole day. Uh, however, uh, when winter comes, it becomes a hassle. They freeze and you have to come every two hours, break them dump them with new water and so forth also in the summer uh, they get dirty and because they are uh, 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 fixed to the, 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 the wire the cage uh, it is kind of a, a time consuming to take them off wash them put them back on and we get busy we forget about it and so forth so today I'm going to start working on a new watering system uh, with nipples uh, and I'm going to share with you this information. So I'm going to use a 5 gallon bucket as everybody does and the nippling system uh, with, uh, with the hose, the 5 sixteenths, the I believe it's outside diameter uh, or inside diameter. I I'm not sure. Uh, I forgot. And I also I'm gonna use a water pump. Uh, I purchased this water pump on Amazon, and this also on Amazon. Uh, it's a very tiny water pump and it has that actually this part comes with the pump and uh, it fits on that uh, tube that's coming with, uh, with the, nippling, uh, the nipples so uh, they work together also I have here uh, a heater, a water heater that turned on and off with the temperature uh, that was in the chicken coop. Uh, I'm going to use it here and I'm going to bring a new one for the chicken when winter comes. Uh, but uh, I'm going to have Uh, the bucket on top of the heater the water will come out from here so the lower part even if the top freezes even if the top area freezes in the water the bottom will be uh, not frozen because of uh, the heater and the pump will pump it so it will continue circulating into the pipes through all the cages and come back to the bucket and this way it will not freeze in the pipes as well the key we're using uh, is 5 sixteenths uh, outside diameter the tubing is 5 sixteenths inside diameter so uh, we're using this key and this is the one that I'm gonna put in the in the bucket I'm not going to put the I'm not going to use uh, the elbow that came with the set uh, to connect to the bucket here uh, because this doesn't match uh, when the tube coming from the pump this is for a gravity uh, system and it, it it's not gonna work for freezing uh, but to use the pump uh, this is not gonna work by the time you tie this plastic knot there is no enough part here to put the tube that's coming from the pump because the pump has to go out uh, if you have the pump inside and it's just pumping it's gonna just keep stirring the water but the water in the tube 
will be uh, not moving and it will freeze. So I'm going to use a T uh, because I can connect the tube that's coming from the pump here and the tube that's going out to the cages here with the nipples and this one will have a clear tube coming up and it's going to be kept from the top closed so the water will not come out because of the pump and this will give me indication of how much water in the bucket. Now I have here uh, the tea. Uh, there is a little bit of silicone here because I, I attempt to do this uh, before but uh, I didn't finish it. But this is the tube. This is will go inside the, the bucket. This will go to the cages. So I have this in first and then I will put this in the bucket and then I will put silicone to seal it. And here how it looks. I I attempted this before and uh, without having the clear tube in and that's why it failed because to put the clear tube in it broke the the silicone seal so now i'm doing it while the clear tube is already in so now uh, i don't have to push on it and now i'm gonna silicone here and from inside This is the tube that will be coming from the pump. Uh, this part came with the pump, will be on the pump, and then it will, it will uh, the water will go through here. And this, what I'm going to put in here, I'm going to put it in, I'm going to show you. This way, this uh, is not going to come out. It's held by that uh, tube inside. Uh, and I'm going to silicone this so water doesn't leak. And then we'll continue working. And uh, before I put the silicone, uh, this is uh, the tubing that came with the system, uh, the one I purchased, they have 100 feet uh, tubing. So I got the start of it. I'm going to put it here before silicone. Because every time you try to uh, connect this, push it in, it makes pressure and movement. So it will break the silicone. Now we'll leave this to cure. We'll leave this to cure until tomorrow uh, and then we'll put some water, test it and after that we'll continue working. Here is the water level, and uh, here I don't see any leak, so we're good to go. So now we're going to empty it. So this is a T that will have the first nipple. So the water line comes here, and the nipple will go with another small tubing here. And you can have this as long as you need. Some people put it, put the line on the top and bring the nipple down. So make it further from the rabbits to chew on. But 
rabbit is not gonna chew on it. It's half inch hardware cloth. They're not gonna chew on it. But because the pump will pump water, the water will go this way. The water in this part and in the nipple will not be moving as much as the water in that line. So there is a potential of freezing. So I plan to make the tubing that hold these two together, make them all the way like so. And then I will wrap uh, uh, duct tape on it a uh, few times to reduce the possibility of this water to freeze. I, I've seen people do it this way. Uh, I have not seen them doing the duct tape. It's my idea, but uh, we'll try it. Uh, here is the pump uh, inside and uh, this is submersible pump you cannot plug it in unless it is uh, covered with water so uh, that's just to be aware of that uh, so now uh, we need to cover this so the water continue to be clean uh, as much as possible because uh, Putting these springs in these tiny holes was kind of a tedious job. Uh, I couldn't do it here. I took it in the house. I took everything in the house, used my uh, reading glasses to put them on, and I brought it all, uh, all installed now. So it will be a, a quicker installation. And here is the system for the first two. First one, and now it's kind of dark here because it's sun is going down. Don't have much light in the shop. This is the second one, and it will continue from here. Now I have this uh, metal tape. We call it plumber tape. Uh, I have a roll of it. Uh, I use it a lot when I need. I'm cutting it into small pieces and shaping it like so and using it to screw it uh, to hold the tube in place so it will not be moving or uh, swinging uh, it will not be in the way of the doors when the door opens because the tube is going under the doors and it's gonna come back above the doors uh, to come back to the to the bucket. Now I uh, I placed that uh, U post in the ground. Uh, it's not dug so deep, so I can take it out because I'm gonna have another hatch built to be in this area and another hatch this direction here. Uh, I raised this uh, hatch uh, about four inches because it was lower than the others. Uh, I'm gonna post the video on the screen to watch how I did raise that uh, hatch and uh, why it's too tall. Uh, 
So uh, I will post that video on the screen. So now I'm going to continue bringing the line this way. And here is a full circle, uh, complete uh, water coming out. Going around. And we have uh, all hutches has the nipples. This one, the one was leaking. I changed it. I didn't put the duct tape. So if it does leak again, I can see where the leak is coming from. And it's going to the last one. Coming back on top. We go up. This is more than six feet high and I put the duct tape. So anybody tall or whatever will see it. And it's coming back to the bucket. I'm gonna plug it in, test it. And here you can see the pump is working and bringing the water back into the bucket. So the circulation is continuing. So far we have one rabbit uh, figured it out and start drinking out of it. Uh, we'll watch the rest and then we we'll start to take these balls out as soon as they start drinking from these nipples. Now it's plugged in an extension cord and uh, we're not going to leave it like that. Uh, I have this uh, 40 feet extension cord with three lines at the end. Uh, all the electricity in our my shop here is on the side. So I'm going to plug it in one plug here and go over and uh, go with this here and come down. Uh, to plug both the pump and the water heater uh, and that will be permanent not in the way out of the way Here now, uh, the final project is working, plugged in, uh, coming from the ceiling, and going the other side where it's plugged in the, in the outlet. This would be a lot cleaner water and going to be running 24/7 uh, winter or winter or summer because we have the water heater uh, and uh, this way it reduce our work uh, especially in the winter when water freezes thank you very much for watching uh, please subscribe like and share uh, hit the bell you get notified for future videos and see you next time. God bless you.